So welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I am Mike. And today we're cracking open a new bottle of Redemption Rye. In. So, Redemption is straight rye. So, being that it's a straight rye always means it has to be aged at a minimum of two years. I believe they always say this is like two and a half, three years is what they do. It can't be blended with any other spirits. That's what, what distinguishes a straight rye. This uh, is bottled in Indiana, so it is MGP. It's 95.5 rye, 95% rye, 5% bot barley. Uh, and their theory was that they, they're trying to bring back the rye revival back where where uh, all the pre-prohibition rye was the number one Spice. spirit uh, going. And then after prohibition, I think that's when all the gin and the vodkas and everything took over. Oh, and yeah. rye kind of died. So, and now, now, nowadays, a lot of people, even when the bourbon started taking off and everything, rye was not a big one. And now it's finally making. I was going to say, it's, Ooh, it's a good doing one. It's now, it, right now, right it's, now it's finally making back where it used to be. Last time we did the other one, this is what happened. It was all like soap because they have such a small neck on their bottles. And then it, I put it back in, and when I took it out, like, feel it, it, it's like it, the alcohol Spotty. starts, it starts eating. Like, it starts eating the, uh, I keep forgetting to bring some money. I forgot that. You did ask. I have only well, a ask. You offered it. Yeah, yeah. You don't deny. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I'll write myself a note. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Every time you go to leave, I say, oh, I'll make sure I'll send you home with this. And then we totally forget every time. So I think it's going to do the same thing. But we'll see. The last time when I did the actual bourbon one, I, I, I went to put the cork back in. And it, it just started shattering. There was cork particles all in it. And I, I, I don't know if that was what tainted it. I, I, I thought it for sure you were going to have a mess. And you didn't. I did, well, I didn't do too bad today. Stand by. It's not over yet. So... But, so, um, I was kind of excited to try this one. I, when we did the bourbon one, I remember it was, like, I think we didn't even give it that good. Actually, my, my buddy Jimmy was like, what, what, wait, what? Because it wasn't really that good. But then, like, a week later, it started opening up, and it got a lot better. So, I'm, I'm hoping this ain't the case. I'm, I'm curious to see what your impressions are, because I believe it, that riverboat that we had is also mgp rye and i remember the last time we did it you were like yeah i'm all set with that when you drink it like you didn't want it like it was it was a yeah i'm not getting a nose though for this much rye like i usually get well you've been saying you're getting a scotch nose <laughs> yeah. i don't even know where that comes from this is 100 percent pine like you you this is definitely like a, a minty pine that's uh -huh. what i think i said last time if you if you go with not so much a peppermint but like maybe like a winter mint and then pine tree and you kind of mix them together and, and uh let me try it's kind of have an oak ending to me very very sweet you get that little i took a little sip on that one i get I little, a little, little pop yeah rocks. i didn't get really that much because i didn't swish it i just no, it i, like I, I only did a little bit but it's still on my tongue i just wanted to see well, wasn't it, it sweet even, it was it was it was actually really good to me on on the, on the first sip, but I'm I'm gonna do it in a second. I just I'm actually right now, it, I'm still getting I like the Kentucky like, hug, yeah. like yeah, it's, it's, it's like slowly coming down. Like maybe it's because it's my first one, and that's what I'm I'm waiting to sit, let it settle because it's like yeah, I didn't get because it's only ninety two proof, yeah, and it is we got it for twenty seven ninety nine when I got this one, um. But this, this is one of the ones, much like the Riverboat one, it, it, it's, it's not like, I'm not going to say that I'm going to pick it right out of the blind when we do blinds on them. But this is more, you're not getting the caramel and the vanilla as much on the nose. I get, no. the, I get the... On a taste, you kind of get like the, I get like a syrupy taste. On the nose, though, I'm getting like the, the minty pine tree right now, but... You know, they all seem to change after a while. And when we do them blind, I'm like, how did I not pick that up? Yeah. But... I don't say that. <laughs> I'm just happy if I pull something out. Mm. I 
it's weird because some of the other ryes that are way less rye seem to have more of the pop rocks than this one. Oh, I just switched that one. It's, it's on my tongue. It's dancing right now. It's still dancing. Like now that I just cleared my mouth, it, my tongue fired back up again. Like when we ate the hot sauce yesterday <laughs> and it, it like kept coming back, like that. that's what it just felt like on it. I actually really like this one. I really like this one. I, I the, the, the even the the bourbon itself has come into something that I that I I actually started to enjoy. Uh, but um, you know what? This one is almost like a baby orange on your tongue. Yeah, well, that's it's you, not you keep. Yeah. That's not a pop rock this this time to me. It's more like just like the numbing feeling. Yeah. yeah. I, I so can, if I can I remember can, that, I might be able to pull it out. I can I can get that. But it's, my, still it's like, almost yeah, like that, a little. But then you get a little firework dance. Yeah, I don't too. get it as much as. Even some of the lesser rides, which is weird. You, I would have thought I would have got it more. And then I don't know if that's a combination of the high rye and the proof that we get off of some of them. Like that's that's, that's yeah. where you get confused on it uh, where, be, I, where they, it confuses me. Because yeah. sometimes you get you get like especially when you get like an old granddad one fourteen where you get the high rye. They have a high rye in it anyways. So you know, like the Bailey legal rye is a fifty one percent, where yeah. the high rye is like thirty two percent. Who's making? I keep forgetting. I need to. They got an old old old, um, high rye, I believe. Well, that's a rye, anyways. That, you know, but it's like a, a higher rye than that. They have a higher one yeah. than that. I've been to that store I, a while. I was gonna say I, only, I think I only found that one. I don't think I've seen the other version. If it's still there, um, may have to stop by. It was actually cheaper than that one. Hmm. Cheap is always better. I don't really remember that, that we'll have to do, uh, like I said, in the, in the future. It's an easy drink. Thing. I actually, you know what? I, I said this to, when I was banging through the rise. It's funny you say that where, but this is much different than if we like pulled out like Wild Turkey 101. Because then you're getting the caramels and the stuff yeah, like that. It's, but it's, I actually, I actually like it. Yeah, I, you say easy drink, but a lot of people, I'm getting that. No, you that, do. You where do. it's, it sits. Yeah. It's not a. You can't drink it like you have it's to let it. You have to let it. No, you have to let it settle. Like it, it kind of. It does. It's got and a spice get, to it. Yeah, like, yeah. And, it, and right now, like it was almost like when we did that mango habanero a million years ago, <laughs> where it just kind of heated up, and you almost had to let the heat go down because it was the the hot spice. This this is what this rye reminds. We've touched that one since. Ah, I know I haven't. Well, I I when someone came over, we we sampled it just to to have him try it because he was like, that just sounds weird. I'm like, hey, I'll try it. But I'm not much of the flavored guy, so I, I don't gravitate towards those. Someone just asked me that today, you know, if we're going to do more. And, it, and, like, it's not really high on our list. But if someone says they want to see something, we'll go get it. Mm. There is a few I want to try. There yeah, is a pickles. few. I, I, well, you want the pickle one. I'll try it. It's not Dickel Pickle, right? It's somebody no, makes it's, it. Yeah, Dickel it's has the Tabasco one that I wanted to try. Just because I've seen, it, I've it seen just, it. I haven't seen it out, but I've seen a picture it of it. It just seems weird in so many ways. Well, I wanna, so I, We've been lucky. We've been pulling out some pretty good ones. So We do. We haven't. We haven't. We haven't uh, I look at the Moonshine Pickle one every time. Oh, I know. I, you, I haven't seen the pickle. I, I've seen the cherries. I might even see the pickle. I don't know. I, it, it's on a, and you got I a actually, different one at your store. I haven't been. A pickle. Oh yeah, I haven't been to the uh, I haven't been to that store in a little while because I've been finding gems at the other store, so I keep going to the the closer one. I haven't been to the other one that this has the I mean, closer shine. one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Yeah, it's it's actually a bottle like this without pickles in it, but it's, it's a pickle. Uh, pickle a pickle flavor. Yeah, yeah, I know. I I think I've seen. Uh, but moonshine, old Smokies got actual pickles in yeah, there. Yeah, well, I, they also have the thing cherries. Of cherries. Yeah, yeah. They had something else at the store the last we'll time I had gone. I, we'll I forget. But. Switch it up. Yeah, I, I the I you know I I didn't mind moonshine you know, before, gonna, but the thing be... is, is but when you I keep thinking of the the, the white lightning over there in a can, well, because that's, that's that's what I'm afraid that, of. That's what I'm thinking back of the the grain and watermelon that we did. Yeah, we no, just exactly, made a mess because yeah. we couldn't eat. There was so much grain, it was just like we literally hit it with a hose running, <laughs> like like we were hosing it off, trying to water yeah. it down. That was yeah. that was not good. But overall, if you like, if you're if I think it's a very good rye. I think it's a very good rye. But it's not... If you're uh, someone who likes like Wild Turkey 101 rye or or the Jack Daniels rye, where you, you're getting a lot of the bourbon flavors with it, I don't think you get as many as that. Like, not it's really. straight up like rye. 
This is rye whiskey, as it says right it's on the a, bottom. It's, it's a, a sweetness to me going down. That's that's what it is. Really it different. is on the nose. Well, it, on yeah. the nose, you get kind of the, the to me, it's that pep, peppermint pine or spear, you know, wintermint pine. Yeah. But and if, if you really dig, I, I think I'm getting a hint of like the car, the vanillas in in maybe in the brown sugar. I don't even know if I'll call it caramel. But it's 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 way deep, and you know, I don't. It, it is a sweetness when you, I, I, when yeah, you drink I, I, it. I'm going to go more like a, a maple syrup type. Not even that. Not that I have more of a flavor. Not so much a nose of that. But I I kind of like it because I like the spiciness of it. Like I, I do like the. Obviously, the, we like it because it's go it's even, gone right. You don't want to have anything. So no, no, and I'm that's that's why I would I was I was trying to wrap it up, but I realized we talked about everything but the actual whiskey. So I just tried to throw some kind of. Something out oh, there. We said it was all right. Yeah. Good. No, I would definitely, I, I, you know, I would give it a try. It's twenty seven ninety nine. It's not going to break the bank by any means. I, I think the bourbon was a little bit cheaper when we bought that. And again, this one kind of, we could have compared it to it. Maybe we'll do that in the future. This was twenty seven ninety nine too, and this was their bourbon. This one had to open up, though. And as you can see, now it, it's, it's, it's got a dent in it. It's got plenty of air in there now. <laughs> so this one, uh, but to me, this one really had to open up on, uh, I'm trying to think of all the, all the ones... But I, I want to say the Riverboat Rye that we actually have is, is still MGP with these guys. But this is what they're actually known for. Not so much the bourbon as the uh, as the uh, the ryes that they, they make. But as you can see, I, I put a dent in that one too. It is Indiana. Yeah. So this, this is... We should have put them together, see which one we like better. I don't know how long this has been going yeah, on. We can, but next time. Well, yeah. When we do a... We gotta end up doing a. a we might do a mash mix up of all the rise, anyways, because we gotta. We still got a couple of them over here. Uh, it's a little different nose because it sat longer. This is gonna open up the same way. It is and it's, it's not. I get that bright. same yeah, time, yeah, but that's know. a. That's just a heavier version of that. I think this just needs a little air, and it's gonna do the same exact thing. But uh, these corks, they, they they don't fool around with their corks. But I think it's just because it's got the small neck. So. All right, we'll leave it at that. Leave a comment down below because comments are always good, especially suggestions. And, and we we may have to do like a rye mash mix up and see which one's the best rye because we, we have to have at least eight of them up there. We might have to do a round. We can have another one. We can even glue them. We've got to do whatever. a couple more too. So, right. uh, well, that being said. Uh, For a Friday. Something. Well, happened. yeah, if you want to see that, leave a comment. Maybe we can do that with it, uh, the other one. The Blind Fight Fridays. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it's actually. It's. I don't think it's in the air yet. I think it's going to be one of the soon to be uh, episodes coming up. It's. So. It's starting to get a little bit of the bourbon nose now. No, I. I think this is going to open up into something really good. I. I will. I will definitely go back and revisit this one in the near future. But I. I want to let like some of you get at it because yeah. I. I noticed they have been, and it's what makes me almost want to open them up like a week before we actually review them, just because I swear they change. But they won't. They I like it. I like it this way. Yeah. It gives me an excuse to go back and drink it again and talk about it. So there you go. So there is our Redemption Rye. Uh, again, this is what they, I think it, this is what they started with. And then they moved to the other ones, the rye and the high, yeah, the bourbon and the high rye. But uh, so there it is, another MGP. Actually, I heard a rumor the other day, and I don't know how true it is. I didn't, I actually heard someone talking about it, that MGP was so popular and so many people were sourcing them that... You, they said, "Why don't we make our own stuff?" And I heard that they're actually going to start trying to. We might, they might actually come out with their own they line of yeah, because they they've been pimping it out to everybody else, and everybody else has been aging it. So that I think they finally said, "Why don't we do it ourselves and start, you know, do it?" But I don't know how true that is, so don't quote me on that one. Uh, but that would be, you know, they might as well. Everybody sources from them, like all the craft distilleries source, so they can make money and do the, the that they part, make, make it both ways. Yeah, why not? So, all right, well, there you go. Redemption Rye. Yeah, I would definitely give it a try if you're venturing into, if you're just venturing into rye, though, this is about as rye as you're going to get because this is that heavy or rye with the spice and stuff. So there are other ones that are like the Bailey Illegals where it kind of keeps bourbon slash rye. But, uh. We'll see. They do have an offering similar to that that will be coming up in the near future. So, um, there you go. Redemption Rye. Thanks for watching. And with that being said, spend less, drink more. Cheers. Cheers. Subscribe. Hmm? It's actually that's pretty good. No, I, I actually like that. That, that really brings the...